a human being. At least on this planet, you are the peak of evolution, physiologically at least, yes? What the most evolved creature on the planet means is, it has the most complex neurological system and it has the highest level of cerebral capability. That means you can think, you can remember, you have memory. You have a very vivid sense of memory and a fantastic sense of imagination. Because the education systems that you're going through right from kindergarten level is such that it is about everything except you. What this means is, a human being exists in three times. He lives because of the richness of his memory. How rich is your memory determines what you will do and what you will not do right now, isn't it so? So memory is important, the present experience is important and how vivid is your imagination for tomorrow is very important. Right now the problem is, these things have all gotten mixed up because discipline of faculty has simply not come. Nothing has been taught to our children that there needs to be… Discipline means people think English kind of discipline walking like this, like idiots. Discipline of faculty is not there. Because of this, your own mind turns against you. What happened ten years ago, you still suffer? Hello? What may happen day after tomorrow, you already suffer? Because there's no discipline of faculty. You don't know how to use your memory, you don't know how to use your imagination. Your memory makes you suffer, your imagine makes… imagination makes you suffer and you think you are suffering your life. You are not suffering your life, you are only suffering the two greatest faculties of being human, vivid sense of memory and a fantastic sense of hum imagination, isn't it so? If you suffer a ailment, understandable. If you suffer a disability, understandable. If you suffer your ability, hopeless case. I must tell you this, about four, five months ago I think, you might have seen it on the news, a young lady, thirty-four year old lady, who was a television anchor in Hyderabad, jumped off the fifth floor window, killed herself, left a note, nobody is responsible for my death, my brain is my enemy. This is true with almost ninety percent of the human beings, they are suffering their own intelligence, isn't it? If you take away half their brain, if you take away half their brain, they will be peaceful. Yes. And that is why a whole bunch of idiots are going about saying that the ultimate goal of life is peace of mind. Such people will only rest in peace. Do whatever the hell you want in your life. But you must be intensely focused on something. If you're not investing in anything, your life, it will just go waste. One basic ingredient of your life is time and this is just going away.